So uh, I better share my screen with you. Uh, by the way, uh, hope that you can hear me. Yes. Is every, oh, oh, okay, okay, this is good. So uh, let me share my screen with you. Uh, and uh, let's say share. So uh, what did we do last week? Uh, let me tell you, let me remind you briefly. Uh, we have learned how to use the prepositions uh, at and on. You know, uh, before the, the hours, we are, we, were, we are using what? At. Look at it. Just before the hours we are using, we use at as preposition. For instance, let's meet at seven. This is a, a basic grammar rule. And before days and dates, we use what? On. For instance, on Monday, on Tuesday, on birthday, on the, the 21st of November. This is a basic grammar uh, rule. Before hours, we use at, and before days and dates, we use what? On. And uh, I showed some uh, channels, TV channels, uh, uh, to for listening activities. Uh, TRT vote and NHK vote. Uh, you can you can watch them to improve your listening skills. And uh, so, clue and tip. Uh, what was the meaning of these two words? Clue. Do, do you remember the meaning of this word? Da, Mervin. Tipuju. Yeah, good, good. Clue and tip. These are synonyms. And in Turkish, we say tipuju. Okay. So let's move on to our chip topic, today's topic. What can we do today? And uh, today uh, we're going to read a text about holiday home adverts. And uh, this is from British Council, by the way. And we've got a preparation task uh, before the reading activity. And you are seeing some votes here. Uh, you match these votes with their different definitions. All right. Uh, let's look at the first one. A barbecue. Even, even in Turkish, we've got this word. We use this word in Turkish. Uh, so what does it mean, barbecue? Hmm? You'll match. Is it G? G, let's look at it. I think to cook food outside. Uh, yes, we can say barbecue. Uh, you know, there is a party, barbecue party, for instance. Good. And uh, let's look at the second question. Countryside. Countryside. What does it mean, countryside? For instance, uh, village. Uh, for village, we can say countryside. It's uh, the territory, the location far from the city center, public, uh, sorry, countryside, a rustic, rustic area. Da, Merve. Uh, opposite of city and town. Uh, the... Opposite of uh, city and Town, yes, all right, good. And let me show you a vote. Let's look at it. What's that? That is rustic. Yeah, rustic. And this is what? This one, rustic and countryside. These are related to each other. Good. You can you can take note these words, by the way. And let's go on. Countryside. And large. It's 
a very, very easy word to guess the meaning. Large. By the way, how about other students? Are you sleeping? Huh? We've got three students more, so guys, давай. Я слушаю, я слушаю тебя. Large. Hocam, large, big. Big, yeah, good, good. And four, fully equipped. Fully equipped. For instance, this is an adjective, by the way, adjective. Uh, fully equipped class, fully equipped flat, like that. Hmm? It has something, uh, has got everything pretty accurate. Has all the things you need. Yeah, sure. Has uh, all the things you need. Good, perfect. And uh, five, to escape. To leave. Let's look at it. Oh. Yes, to leave, to leave, vote, and answer it. Answer it. How about this word? Uh, it's very common in Turkish houses, by the way. Answer it. <clears throat> oh, it's a part of a uh, house. Uh, for instance, uh, let's say it's uh, joined with the bedroom. Uh, you can, yeah, Merve. Is it E has a door from the bedroom and bathroom? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, go. That is absolutely so. Has a door from the bedroom to bathroom. All right, good. Uh, so what's that? For instance, there is a bedroom and you can pass through a door to bathroom. Uh, especially parents. Parents uh, use these, uh, these kind of rooms and so it can so it. So in Turkish, uh, how, how can you uh, depict this word uh, and switch? Hocam, yani söylediklerinizden yanlış anlamadıysam, ebeveyn banyosu olan bir oda mı? Da, da, da. Eta pravda. Ocin hrašu. Yeah. Uh, like that. And switch. Good. Good. Perfect. And seven. In Turkish, we've got a very similar word, luxury, luxury, luxurious. Hmm? Luxury. Very expensive and nice. Very expensive and nice. Shown or white. Good, Pravda. And eight, upstairs, upstairs. A higher floor. Uh, let's look at it. A uh, higher floor. So, uh, in Turkey, what, what can you say for this word? Upstairs. By the way, just the Japanese, I've seen. Uh, all right, I see. I teach it. No problem. No problem. Okay. So, go on. Uh, upstairs in Turkish, what can you say for upstairs? Let me show you something. Da, Merve. Üst kat. Yeah. Yes, yes, yes. Like that. By the way, uh, uh, it just, uh, it is just come to my mind. Uh, while learning new words, 
uh, please try to use everything which will uh, make you remember the things. For instance, uh, you can use Google Images. Let me show you how. Let's say you uh, learn this word very new and a uh, very Google Images. Uh, it's here, just a sec, please. I'm trying to open the, this one. Okay. the Google Images. For instance, upstairs, I'm writing the word here on Google Maps. Look, uh, or uh, double uh, flow house. Yes, you're seeing double flow houses. And uh, this is downstairs, you're seeing this one. And this is downstairs, and this is upstairs, all right? This is upstairs, and this is downstairs. Cool. So uh, when, you, uh, when, you knew, uh, when you learn new words, you can use Google Maps, because uh, uh, since you see the pictures, you can easily recall the meanings of words. Good. And let's go on. Yeah, we have completed this part. And now reading activity, reading text, holiday form at words. Uh, as we do generally, uh, first I'll read and then you're gonna read. All right, please don't forget to follow me while I'm reading. We've got two adverts ed here. It's uh, about what a steep lot and flats and farmhouse. Uh, let's look at the first one, a steep flat. Beautiful two bedroom city, city plot. Five minutes walk from the cathedral. Fully equipped kitchen, living room with a large sofa and chairs. The Italian balcony. The balcony has space for four people to sit and gets the sun in the morning. And the flood is light and warm. It has Wi Fi and fast internet. The upstairs bedroom sleeps four people with two double beds. The downstairs bedroom sleeps two in single beds. The flat is perfect for families and is near shops, bars, and restaurants. The second advert, farmhouse. Four bedroom farmhouse in the countryside. All of the four double bedrooms are ensured with luxury shower and bath. Farm kitchen with barbecue, tables, and chairs outside. Grateful groups of Friends, the supermarket is half an hour by car, and you can take a train from the village into the city. Escape from normal life for a few days as well. No internet, and you can only use mobile phones at the bottom of the garden. So guys, it's your turn. The ball is in your coat. And who wants to read the, the first adverts? Hmm? Who wants to read the first one? Is there any question? Yeah, we of course, of course, the right. The first one. Tamam, hocam, başlayayım. Stiflet, beautiful two bedroom stiflet, five minutes walk from the cathedral. Fully equipped kitchen, living room with a large sofa and chairs, big TV and balcony. The balcony has space for four people to sit and get the sun in the mornings and the flat is light and warm. It has Wi-Fi and fast internet. The upstairs bedroom sleeps four people with two double beds. The downstairs bedroom sleeps two in single beds. The flat is perfect for families and is near shops, bars and restaurants. Done. Thank you, thank you, good. And the second one, Palm House. Yeah, Mervyn, 
please state it. Uh, farmhouse, four bedroom farmhouse in the countryside. All of the four double bedrooms are in suite with luxury shower and bath. Farm kitchen with barbecue tables and chairs outside. Great for groups or uh, groups of friends. The supermarket is half an hour by car and you can take a train for, from the village into the city. Escape from normal life for a few days as we have. No internet and you can only use mobile phones at the bottom, bottom of the garden. Da, da, perfect. Thank you. Thank you. So, uh, what do you think about the limits of this text? Is it easy to understand or, yeah, what do you think? Is understandable? Generally. Hmm? Generally. I think. At least, I, th I think that at least you, you, you can get the gist of the text. Gist, you know, no longer. Gist? Yeah. Um... Ama konu vermek istediği düşünce gibi bir şeydi hocam. Ya, ya, ya, ya, ya. The general idea, the general idea of any text, any anything. Uh, so uh, I, I think that you can, you can uh, grasp the gist, gist of this text. It's not so uh, difficult to understand. And uh, let's look at the words uh, which you, you don't know. Is there any word you don't know? From this text, flat, flat. Oh, uh, you know, uh, flat is what kind of house, but uh, what in the apartment? Hmm? In the diary. Da da da da. Yes, uh, that is that is flat, flat. Bir de hocam, equipped. Equipped in Turkish. We've got the same word, equipment. What is an equipment? Equipment. Yes, but uh, for instance, uh, let's say, let, sorry, let me say uh, what? Uh, for instance, you're seeing a headset stereo headphone. This is a kind of headphone. And this is uh, equipped with uh, Bluetooth. So, for instance, a computer. A computer has got what? A keyboards, mouse, and like that, some kind of cables. So the computer is equipped with key, uh, keyboards, mouse, and like that. In Turkish, uh, it's... Uh, it starts with D in Turkish. D, the first letter of this word is D. Uh, For instance, uh, think about a computer. Uh, it's it's equipped with some hardware, hardware and software. Huh? It's equipped with. Düzenek diyeceğim ama tam anlayamadım hocam şey söylediğinizi çeviremedim. <gülüyor> Let's say in Turkish. Uh, fully equipped is think a tool, device, sorry, device. Think a device, electronic device. Okay. And this is a perfect device. Device, by the way, what's a device in Turkish? Do you know device? No. You don't know. Let me write device or gadget. Please don't use your dictionary now, Karen. Okay. Okay. I clarify these words. Device. What's a device? What is this? Mobile phone and headphone and computer. Jihaz. Jihaz. Da da da. Yes, device. Hmm. And gadget. This is the synonym of uh, these are the similar words. Okay, device and gadget. All right. Uh, so uh, think a device. Okay, this device 
uh, has got everything which is necessary to use. Has everything, pretty accurate device. Uh, tam donanımlı ekipman gibi bir şey. Yes, yes, yes, that is. This is an adjective, adjective. So, fully equipped. Uh, çeviremedim hocam. Again, again, tell more. Tell, uh, once Do, more. Donanımlı ekipman. Yes. Oh my, no, the, just the first Donanımlı. Thing. Yeah, equipped. Okay. Oh my goodness. I, I think that you never forget this boat, no longer. Huh? I Am I right? So. Hmm? Inshallah, hocam. Yeah, inshallah. <laughs> okay, good. So, fully, fully equipped device gadget. Please don't forget this verse. Jot down. Take notes. I noted. Okay, good. So, fully equipped. And what else? Let's look at the verse. Actually, uh, uh, you may think that this uh, way of teaching, this method is kind of, uh, sorry, uh, receive time, but I don't think so. Because if I uh, tell you the meaning of this verse directly, and uh, you may uh, easily forget uh, them, but I'm trying to uh, write some scenarios. And I'm trying to clarify the meaning of words uh, concretely. Then, uh, via this way, it, you can easily recall the meanings of these words. So I think that this is not waste of time. No, I don't know what what you think. Bence de güzel hocam ama diğer arkadaşların zamanını almaktan biraz çekindim hani o yüzden. Estağfurullah hocam güzel. Biz de böylelikle tam. Yani benimize nakşediyoruz. <laughs> okay, thank you, thank you, good. And yes, let's look at other verbs. Please tell me the words you don't know. If uh, everything is okay, then we can uh, look at. Uh, the exercises, exercise, sorry. Hmm? Shall we go? Shall we go on uh, exercises? Hmm? Okay. By the way, shall we, shall we go, shall, uh, sorry, shall we do, shall we go, shall we, blah, blah, blah. So what does it mean? Shall we? Yapalım mı, başlayalım mı? Yeah, like that. So, if you want to offer something, then you can use these. Uh, let's say, shall we or shall I? No, this one. Okay. Capital letter, I should, I should use. Shall we and uh, shall I? And the one. Okay. Shall we drink something? Shall we go? Shall we talk? Shall we discuss? And like that. Okay, you, you can take note this one as well. And I want to ask another thing. And for instance, uh, what does it mean by? By. Oh my goodness. By. By what does it mean? Hocam, ile mi acaba? By the way, falan diyorlar. Yes, yes, yes. Like that. Good. By something. For instance, uh, you are going to, you go to somewhere by what? By car, by train, by plane. Like that. Right. With vehicles, we use by. With vehicles. By a vehicle. For instance, I uh, I flight to America 
uh, what by plane like that all right with vehicles by train by car by bus we use by good why did i say so uh you can see here there and where is it i've just seen it here but can't find it now unfortunately where is it can you see by what by Oh my goodness. By car, yeah, yeah, yeah. Thank you. By car. Where is this? This supermarket is half an hour by car. Good. And now let's go. Task one. What can you do? You will fill these blank part, blank parts with the words given here, given in sparks. So, uh, the first one, let's look at the first one. Did what in the flood has everything you need? Hmm? There, is, there is something which is fully equipped with something. Hmm? Let's get the, the kitchen. The kitchen. Yes, fully equipped kitchen. So fully equipped means something has got everything you need. So the kitchen in the flood has everything you need. Go. The second one. How people can see it on the bear at the flat. Where on the balcony. Balcony, yes. They can sit uh, on the balcony, good. And three, the single beds are in the bedroom. Hmm? Downstairs. Downstairs. Because why? Let's get it. It was said, what? what? Where is it? Please, people that are involved downstairs that is it. Single pants. It well, can't find it. Ah, okay, downstairs. And uh, the downstairs, yes. Yeah. And yes, go on. A fall. Fall below the cloud. Who love? Families. Families, yeah. Good. And five, at the farmhouse, you can have a barbecue. Hmm? There you can cook barbecue. Outside. Let's... Outside, of course, outside. Good. And Six, it takes minutes to arrive to the supermarket. Minutes. There is a clue for you. Minutes. Thirty. Huh? Thirty, yeah. Sure. Good. And seven. If you want to go to the city, you can take a what? How can you go to the city? Train. Train. All right. Yes. By train. Sure. And uh, eight. You can only use mobile phones in the web. Where can you use? Garden. Garden because, yes, garden. And no internet, and you can only use mobile phones at the bottom of the garden, yes. Mobile phone. Sure. So, task two, you're gonna categorize, uh, sorry, 
Now you can, uh, you're gonna place these uh, phrases under these categories, all right? Flood, somehow, both places. The flood. What kinds of pages has it got? Has internet. Has internet, Wi-Fi, because, and yes. In the city. In the city, good. Let me say, and what? Near the shops. Near the shops, yes, that's good. And the flat is perfect for families and is near shops, bars, and restaurants. So we can say what near the shops. Yeah, sure. And and what else? I think no. Yeah, the second one, the farmhouse. What are the properties of this? Is uh, has four bedrooms. Has four bedrooms. Yeah. Um, for eight people. For eight people. Shen. Far from the shops. Shops. Far from the shops. Yes. Far from the shops. Let us get. Yes. Escape from normal life for a few days as we. So we can deduce from this sentence that it's far from the city center. Yeah, good. And both places. You can sit outside. Oh, yeah, you can, you can sit outside. Yeah, good. Okay, so the last part, discussion. Now I want you to speak at the base and you're seeing the question. Which place would you choose for a holiday? This question is for you. Where do you want to go for a holiday? Huh? By the way, I want to ask to you. Do you know this bird? Hmm? Location. Tatil konum gibi bir şey sanki hocam. Yeah, but which one? Tatil or konum? Hmm? Tatil konum. Ta which one? Tatil galiba. <laughs> yes, holiday. This is in American, in American English, and they're using this word instead, uh, instead of a holiday. Yeah, so. Uh, yeah, aklımda kalmış da hangisi doğru bilemedim. Yes, look, location. You, you mean the second one? Location. Ha. Ha, tamam hocam, sağ in, in Turkish, in Turkish we got the same word. I, I don't, I don't use, I don't use that word. By the way, in Turkish, location. You know, in Turkish, location, location. But I, I prefer mostly uh, konu. Sure. Uh, so, yes. Which place would you choose for a holiday? Farmhouse or where? The flat. And by the way, the rest of the question, why? A big why? Why you choose? May I try? Yeah. Use um. Vinita. I think I choose a farmhouse for holiday because I live in a city and sometimes uh, living in here uh, can be stressful. That's why. Yes, good. And perfect. Uh, I would choose, for instance, uh, how can, um, 
how can you translate this sentence? If I were you, I would buy that mobile. How would you translate this uh, sentence into Turkish? Ben sen olsaydım ya da senin yerinde olsaydım bu telefonu seçerdim. Hmm. Good, good, good. So, good. I would do this. I would buy Tercih that one. Tercih mi anlatıyor? Tercih mi anlatıyor? Hı hı. Yes, Hatice. Eta pravda. I've seen your message on chat. Eta pravda. Correct. And uh, in Turkish, we, we, we can say pardon, ederdim. Okay, what? Good. And yes, others. Ahmed. Evet hocam. Şey, bu sorunun cevabı değil mi? Yes, yes, yes. Just the same question. Ha hocam aynı bende ya. Biz şehir merkezinde e, şey hocam e, e, nasıl şey yapacaktım? Bir dakika. E, if I were you, I would buy. Ha o zaman e, I would choose e, for a holiday e, the farmhouse e, mm -hmm. because e, I want to leave all my problems in the town center, in the city center e, and relax in a farmhouse e, with e, dogs, e, animals e, ondan sonra inekler ha, cows, cows. E, e, and breathe e, a, a clean hava artık hava you <gülüyor> mean air, air. Ha? E, işte böyle hocam ya aslında bir temizlemek lazım ciğerleri fresh air fresh air ha, yeah, evet are... evet fresh air fresh air ya yeah. Uh, uh, yeah, especially uh, during the pandemic um, days, uh, many uh, people uh, want to uh, have these kinds of life. Uh, by the way, uh, if you've got uh, if you've got what a village, then you're lucky. You can you can go to there. Huh? Hocam haklısınız da işte e, yanlış no yapıyoruz time. gitmiyoruz. Ha? İşte yanlış yapıyoruz gitmiyoruz. Gerçi şey e, bu yaz Samsun'a gitmiştim de okay. ben just normal... to say, just just to say please. I uh, your Turkish is perfect really I admire and let's try it in in, in English a little bit. Please uh, don't be afraid of uh, making mistake, just try with words and sentences. It's no, there is no problem. Just try in English. Ah, my job. Problem, but other. Şimdi şey. No, no uh, problem. On no the problem. Uh, on the last uh, summer. Uh, last summer. I, last, uh, last summer. summer. Yeah. Uh, last summer, I went uh, with uh, my uh, with my um, sister uh, mm -hmm. to Samsung uh, uh -huh. and. Uh, for uh, fındık. Uh, hmm. uh, by the way, uh, the, the from as, as, uh, trees. Huh. As uh, as I see, uh, you come from Samsung, right? Your your no, family. Is... I, I'm from Konya, but uh, the husband of my sister uh, is from Samsung. Ah. Huh. Ah. Oh. From uh, which town? Uh, which town? Uh, şey, Engiz. 19 Mayıs. Ha, okay, okay. Uh, uh, why do I ask? Why uh, am I asking this question? Because uh, I, I'm, I'm from Samsun as well. That's why I'm asking this question. Ha, hocam, Engiz is the old name of 19 Mayıs. Ha, yes, and it's a little bit, uh, it's far from my uh, town, by the way, 19 Mayıs. I, I know this, uh, that district, by the way. Cool. Uh, and uh, uh, my uh, my brother-in-law uh, has uh, trees and uh, has garden uh, uh, on in Samsung. Uh -huh. uh, 
uh, not trees. Uh, and he said to me, um, if you want to uh, help me, uh, you can uh, come with us. And uh, I went to Samsung with them uh, uh, and uh, I worked with them. Uh, uh, that was um, uh, good uh, for me, for um, for fresh air, uh, for my healthy. Uh, and yes. um, they are um, they are happy too. Yeah, of I course. Am too. <laughs> <laughs> because yeah, of course, they are not paying uh, something for and uh, let's say employer. Yes, huh? yes, uh, but uh, of course they gave us uh, nuts. Hey, has a nut. Yes, yeah, they gave us nuts. Uh, I think you you you are luckier than than yes. huh? Because yes, it it's it's free, has a nut. But you know it's very expensive, huh? Ee, yeah, I don't know, but it's expensive, I think. Yes. <laughs> so you, you are uh, you are luckier than them. Yes. Yes. If if they need, thank you. Uh, <laughs> you are welcome. If they need extra more uh, employer, yeah, I I can go as well. I can help. <laughs> of course. <laughs> yeah. Şey, Başka bir sürü hocam nasıl denir bilmiyorum İngilizce. <gülüyor> <gülüyor> All right, good. And thank you, perfect. Yes, others. Thank you. Thank you. Hmm? Others. Hmm. Now it is. I'm looking at the chat part. Uh, ATJ is with, uh, sorry, gold uh, what? Nowadays everything is expensive, so hey, would not. Yes, everything. Nothing to do. <laughs> oh, God, God bless us. I can only, uh, I can just say this. Oh, I mean, <laughs> Nothing to do. Yes, I actually uh, I want to uh, discuss about this matter, the inflation and uh, the economical problems and uh, like that. But uh, anyway, never mind, never mind. Uh, so that's all. Then we can uh, say let's call the day. Have you got any questions? Hocam, uh, yeah. şey, uh, şey, celebrate. Uh, I uh, nasıl denir acaba ya? I am celebrating your teacher day. Oldu mu bilmiyorum hocam. Ah, thank you, thank you, thanks, you Good, thank you. Uh, yeah, yeah, yesterday It was yesterday. Thank you. And let's call today. Is there any question to me? No, anything you want to say? Hmm? You, you can, by the way, you, you can tell me everything. You can even criticize my methods. Var mı arkadaşlar? Sorunuz, eleştiriniz, görüşünüz? Hocam, arkadaşımız kutlayınca ben de öğretmen her günüzü kutluyorum. Peki, teşekkür İngilizce ederim. söyleyemedim, kusura bakmayın. <gülüyor> no problem. Ee, çok teşekkürler arkadaşlar, en güzel dilekleriniz için. Ee, bugün bu kadar e, diyeceğiz. E, metinler şeyde var arkadaşlar, biliyorsunuz. E, hem Oku Okut'un web sitesinde e, e, var. <gülüyor> çok teşekkürler Hatice sağ olasın ee, orada buradan yazmış ee, metinler var gençler şeyde oku okudum web sitesinde ee, oradan indirip e, tekrar yapabilirsiniz ee, o şekilde onun dışında e, 
not alıyorsunuzdur zaten. E, not almayınca bilmiyorum ben güvenli hissetmiyorum. Kesinlikle not almam lazım. E, telaffuzlarına bakmam lazım. Telaffuzlar için zaten sözlük önerisinde bulunmuştur ben. E, o sözlüklerden de bakabilirsiniz. E, öyle diyelim şimdilik. Var mı bana sorunuz e, vesaire? Ya da bir hocam şöyle mi denesek acaba hani e, biz sanki böyle daha iyi anlayabiliriz e, dediğimiz. E, şimdi şöyle arkadaşlar ben e, bu programın şeyi, formatı biçimi e, okuma üzerine olduğu için e, hep böyle okumalar yaparak e, ilerliyoruz. E, burada da e, yeri geldikçe böyle kısa kısa gramer kurallarından vesaire bahsediyorum. E, keza ben e, daha şeye başlamadan, programa başlamadan önce de e, ifade etmiştim onu. Kelime dağarcığınızı e, geliştirmeyi e, istiyorum. E, telaffuzu geliştirmeyi istiyorum bu okumalar vasıtasıyla. E, o şekilde. Onun dışında kafanıza takılan bir şey olursa rahatça sorabilirsiniz. Yine burada gramer konusu olur ya da başka bir konu olur. E, fayda sağlayalım inşallah. Tamamdır o halde. Sorunuz yoksa e, Ee, okuma parçaları e, için nereyi kullanabilirsiniz? Ya aslında okuma parçası gençler bugün e, tabi belki e, şeyde internette e, hani rastgele arastanız da e, benim hani şey bir site söyleyemeyeceğim ama doğrudan okuma için bir doğrudan site önerisinde bulunamayacağım çünkü hani kendi incelemediğim için hani e, önermem yanlış olur e, dinleme için önermiştim. Aa, bu, gerçi onları ben kullanıyorum şu anda. Bunları ben British Council'den aldım. British Council'in sitesi var ama ben bunları oradan aldım. Ee, bunları önermem çok fazla bir şey ifade etmeyecek. Okuma için neler yapabilirsiniz? Ya internette bugün arattığınız zaman çok rahat şeyler bulabilirsiniz. Ee, okuma parçaları bulabilirsiniz her düzeyde. Ee, onun dışında özel bir kitap ya da e, metin önerisinde bulunamayacağım ama e, tabi şey olarak ne derler ona? E, kitaptan ziyade internetin nimetlerinden faydalanmak lazım gençler. E, gerçi benim de öyle yaşım o kadar e, şey değil. Ama benim hani çok fazla şeyim olmadı. İnternetin nimetlerinden kendi dil öğrenim sürecimde e, faydalanamamıştım. Yani ilkokul, ortaokul vesaire falan hep böyle. Yani biraz iptidai gelecek ama size e, CD'lerle, işte CD'lerden dinleme falan yapıyorum. O şartlar öyle yani. E, şu an müthiş. Yani her şey Video öğrenmek bedava. Gerçekten bedava. O yüzden internetten fayda, e, olabildiğince faydalanın okuma adına. E, biraz şey olsaydı mesela e, hani ilerlemiş olsaydık seviye anlamında en az şöyle B1 falan görmüş olsaydık, B1, B2 görmüş olsaydık e, sizlerle e, Rosetta Stone yani Stone Rosetta Stone e, biz şeyi vardı, programı vardı sanırım. Ee, bu biliyorsunuz e, şeyde o üç, üzerinde üç dil e, yazılı bir taş bu. Normalde Rosetta Stone. E, i̇lk çevirileri de ona dayandığı da e, söyleniyor hatta. E, üç dilde hazırlanmış. E, i̇lk yazılı çevirilerin daha doğrusu sözlü değil Çünkü o sözlerin daha eski, eski tarihi. E, bir de program vardı Rosetta Stone. Üniversite sunuyordu bunu bizlere. Ee, evet o olabilir orada olabilir ama kendi e, enfüsi olarak incelemedim ee, ne diyecektim ha, B1 B2 görmüş olsaydık biraz ben e, günlük basın takip etmenizi tavsiye edebilirdim yani mesela şey var World Bulletin var bunu hemen yazayım şuraya gazete arkadaşlar bunlar e, bu, bu sitede genellikle e, bu sitede genellikle e, Dünyadan olmak üzere Türkiye'den de haberler yer aldığı için hani e, şeye aşinasınız zaten ne derler ona. Türkiye'nin bülteni ne? Türkiye'deki gerçekleşen olaylara aşina olduğunuz için belki buradaki haberleri anlamanız daha kolay olabilir. Burada e, okuyabilirsiniz. Bu web sitesinden okuyabilirsiniz. Şu an ben üniversitenin şeyinden girdiğim için güvensiz şeyi verdi ama ilerleyeceğiz bu siteye. Yani yok onda. Hem de şöyle bir bakalım. Bakın burada e, dünyadan, Türkiye'den haberler var. E, bunları anlama e, normal haber dilinde yazılmış ama hani seviyeleri biraz şey. Bakın Türkiye haberleri e, 
şeye aşina olduğunuz için, gündeme aşina olduğunuz için belki bunları şey yapabilirsiniz. Neden ona? Daha kolay anlayabilirsiniz. Bakın, güzel, e, buradaki şeylerden faydalanabilirsiniz. Haberlerden faydalanabilirsiniz. E, öyle basını takip edebilirsiniz ama özellikle bu siteden daha iyi olacağını düşünüyorum. Çünkü diğerleri biraz daha ağır biri. Gerçi bunun da ağır da yine de Türkiye haberlerini okurken aa evet bunu kastediyor falan diyebileceğiniz için o yüzden bunu tavsiye ettim. Öyle. Ee, başka gençler var mıdır? Sormak istediğim bir şey. Rica ederim. Rica ederim. Çok sağ olun hocam. Allah razı olsun. Ne demek? Ee, o zaman gençler katılmanız için teşekkür ediyorum. Let's Connect Day diyelim. İnşallah haftaya e, kaldığımız yerden devam ederiz. Tekrarlarımızı yaparsınız diye ümit ediyorum. Bu hafta haftaya da gerçi sınav haftası bizim burada. E, o yüzden katılım az olduğunu düşünüyorum sınavlar yüzünden. E, sağlık olsun. Dikkat edin kendinize. Şey yiyelim. Hocam. Hoşçakalın. Hoşçakalın.